guys, welcome back to another broker review. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Moomoo. Now, for those of you that don't know what Moomoo is, Moomoo is an online broker that allows you to buy stocks, and it's honestly an amazing platform, and we're gonna be breaking down who should use this. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and overall, I hope you guys get something of value out of this video, because that's the main idea with the video, with the channel, is I'm trying to give you guys as much information as possible we're going to be doing a full breakdown on how to use it my overall review of it and so i hope you guys enjoy it so as you guys download the Moomoo app, I'll put a link in it. You guys can have it on the App Store, Google Play. I just did the uh, Windows download and then I have it uh, on my Mac here. Um, but right now I'm using the Windows uh, download of it, okay? So you guys can see when you guys load it up, log in, this is gonna be the first page. So you guys can see just by looking at it, this right in here, this is where all of, all of your stocks would be if you are buying and holding any okay you guys can see i only have around eleven dollars in this account but if we hit 50 likes i will do a, a swing trading account with mumu and we can absolutely kill it with this and you guys can actually see how i how i use it all right so you guys can see all all in here this is where you know you'd see the cost the market cap of the company the pnl all of that all right, as we continue to roll over here, this is just gonna be you know, a stock that you wanna keep on watch. So right now I have Apple. You guys can see the analysis, news, comments, um, all of that. They make it really easy where you can jump around on multiple different uh, you know, tabs here and stay up to date with your stock. You know, If you have a certain stock you're looking at, they make it very con convenient to keep everything all in one place and then you can have the daily chart here right down there if you're day trading. So as we continue to move down, quotes is probably gonna be one of the more important tabs. Um, this is gonna be the stocks and how you guys can actually find support, resistance and all of that. You can do it on other tabs down here but I found it to be um, very easy to do it on this one. So. Uh, there's multiple ways you guys can actually go about doing this. One, you guys can uh, look at the stocks that you have on your watch list. So if we wanted to pull it forward, all we gotta do is click it and then forward stock pulls up. Now, if you guys wanted to change any of the time frames or anything in here, you can do that, okay? So if you wanted the uh, weekly chart or monthly, quarterly, yearly, uh, or even the one minute chart. So we'll just go to the weekly chart just to make it super easy for you guys. And then you guys can see the buy and sell orders down in there. So now if you guys wanted to say, hey, Carter, how can I draw some trend lines? It's very simple. It's not too complicated. All you guys got to do is click this little drop down arrow and then you can draw out trend lines like such. Okay, so you guys can see the downward trend and then the overall resistant breakout absolutely squeezing up and killing it. But if you wanted to draw out a horizontal line as um, resistance, very simple. You can either do hor horizontal line segment, which is just gonna be a small horizontal line like that. Or what you guys can do is you guys can just do horizontal line. So if you had a very strong uh, resistance, you can do it along that and that's gonna show up on all of the charts. And now another cool thing about this is you guys can change the displays right in here. Uh, buy, sell notifications, all of that if you guys want. And then they have everything right here. So you, so you guys can see the 52 week high, low, historical high, uh, the open, all of that market cap, volume, shares, float, um, you know, everything, okay? As we continue to scroll down, this is where you're gonna have more information. This is gonna be the, you know, level two, bit in the ask and all of that. Now, as we continue to scroll over here, this is going to be more along the lines of analysis. So we can actually click on that, and this is where you're gonna see more of what other people and you know analysis think of this company. So you guys can see the target price on the high end is 18. On the low end, it's $11. Um, as we continue to scroll down, we'll have you know just more information about this stock. Okay, and then right here, we'll have the news category. So you guys can click that, have Ford News, see what's going up, see what's going on with it. It's really cool that they keep everything honestly all in one place. Uh, we exit out of there. And then the coolest part is they have comments from other investors. So it's always smart to you know, have other people 
that share a similar mindset with trading, investing, all of that. Okay, so uh, you guys can input whatever you want or you guys can just sit back and see what other people have to say. So as we go back to a quote here, you guys can see that they have other information down in here, such as capital. So you guys can see the distribution of funds. You can see the uh, a, a lot of other information here. So as we continue to scroll back up, they have another change where you guys can see like recent orders and you know all of that. Okay, and you can actually go through and do all of your watch list and such like that. So if you have any swing trading stocks or you guys can just click one here, add a new group and create a um, another watch list and plug in all of your stocks like that. So we'll go back here and another cool thing is you can put all of your scanners on one place. So right here they have a screening tab. So this is gonna be the gappers that I have. If we double click that, we'll go to the one minute chart or probably around 10 minute, 15, one hour, three hour. So this isn't a good stock to look at for that. But the coolest part is you can just keep everything all in one place. So you guys can see on the low end, $2, on the high end, $6. Um, you just continue to go through these stocks and just find ones that have some sort of potential. That's the uh, biggest thing. And then you can obviously go to the minute chart when the market opens or vice versa. Um, and do your day trading and all of that stuff. And you can obviously create your own screener um, down an opportunity, but we'll get there. So now as we continue to move and go past uh, quotes and all of that, this is where we're gonna have market. So this is gonna be what's going on with the overall market. So it may look confusing, but what we'll do is we'll start off with watch list and then we'll just work our way across. So you guys can see that we have our watch list and the coolest part is if you wanted to look at any stock. So if that's say you said, okay, well, Twitter, you know, okay, does look like there may be some sort of potential here. All you got to do is double click it and the stock will instantly pull up. Now, one thing that kind of sucks is it does actually move you back to the quotes tab. It doesn't keep you um, in the markets, which I understand that that's where all the quotes are. So no big deal. And like I said, if you ever wanted to create another watch list, all you got to do is click add and then type in whatever you want click save and then you can uh, enter all of your stocks in like that okay so now as we continue to move across we'll have multiple other sectors so this is the hong kong this is the united states this is where a lot of people end up being and i just leave it as on the nasdaq and just go from there another thing that they, they have that i use is um stock connect uh they have etfs they have indexes, Forex, crypto even, um, a variety of other fantastic um, things here. So I, fi I find this really useful. Do I use it often? Not much, to be honest. I found that the uh, mobile app and the Mac actually make it a little more convenient just because it simplifies everything. Maybe we'll do a separate video on the Mac and compare. So now as we continue to as we continue to move down, this is where a huge value is with this uh, broker. This is your free stock scanner. So I, I, I have a couple already in here. So what you do is you actually create your own scanner and then all you gotta do is just save it as a strategy um, and then you go to your strategies and then you will have some. So you guys can see I have a gapper one and I have a variety um, of different criteria and all of that. So you guys can see the top gapper is uh, FNEC. We followed by a variety you know, of other ones here. So if we wanted to pull up one, all you gotta do is double click. Okay, there's resistance here. We gotta go to our charting tab, horizontal line, boom, resistance there. More support down here, make a trades just by judging that then if you wanted to do the five day time frame or daily or you know anything three minute even you can do that and you can draw out support resistance all of that but like i said when you look at a stock one thing it does is it sends you back to this quotes tab 
Now, I, I know a lot of people don't like that, but you'll see the big value out of actually creating a strategy here in a minute. So you guys can see I have a variety of uh, gap and go, another YouTube one, a trading one, really, really simple. So all you gotta do is put in criteria that meet you know, whatever you want, save it as a strategy down there, and then it will show up right here. Now, as we continue to move our way down, we have a portfolio. So if you wanted to create a, a portfolio that you actively use, so you guys can see that this dude's portfolio is down 35%. You guys can see what other people are doing. So uh, you guys can see this guy is up 25%. So it may be interesting to see what's going on with his. So you guys can see all the stock that he's looking at, a lot of biotech and um, companies along that line. So that may be some sort of opportunity to buy some stock in that sector. Really cool how they keep everything all in one and you can obviously create your own. So if you wanted to add stocks for it, all of these, boom. All you gotta do is click save and then uh, allocate. You know, if you want 20%, 50, and then you know 30 click save and then you will have your uh stocks really really cool um and then yeah so that's pretty much it on that one and then you can obviously follow people and see what they're buying i find that really helpful for beginners that don't know where to start or what stocks to buy but the absolute biggest value for mumu is going to be the next tab this is the trade tab okay so this is going to be how and where you guys buy and trade in the market. Okay, so this is just the general trading tab that they have and you guys can put in a variety of other ones. You can put in an AI monitor. I found this very, very helpful because these are going to be the stocks that are moving and you can make sure you guys um, get some sort of notifications with all of that. Okay, so all you gotta do, double click, send you back to quotes, so you can see what's going on, okay? But I find a huge value is if you go to and you add your own, if you don't even know where to start with this. I find that either the uh, basic type, the basic trader, or just starting from a blank page is very, very helpful, okay? So you guys can see if we just did a standard US, you know, one here it's very similar to this other one but what you do is if that's just say you wanted to buy um some stock so if that's say you got to unlock this and i have a password so i don't buy stupid stuff if i wanted to buy apple aapl okay all i do is put that in shares and then i click buy and then during market hours you'll see the level two and you'll see everything kind of going on um, in the market uh, with Apple out here. So this is positions, orders, and history all in one place. Very, very convenient. But what I like to do is I like to add my own. So if we wanted to create your own, all you gotta do is click blank page and you can start creating um, you know, stuff that is super helpful. So if you wanted to have an Apple tab or a little spot to have your the summary of Apple, if you wanted to have a just the overall chart right there and then up in the C category just have a ticker so you can see what's going on boom you can do that if you wanted to have AI monitor monitoring to see what's going on in the market you can do that if you wanted to have a little clock to let you know when the overall market is you know ending or starting all of that you can do that it's very very helpful very very convenient and it's not not hard. That's that's the that's the best thing. Is that if you wanted to do anything, you can do that. Okay. So if you wanted to add a different one, if that's just say you wanted one component and you just wanted, let's just say the ticker. Boom. You can have that if you wanted the bid and ask under it or something along those lines. You know, it, you can keep everything all in one place. If you just wanted charts, boom. You can you can have that right there. Okay. And if you wanted to actually buy and sell, all, all you gotta do is you just gotta keep going through and you know finding the buy and sell. So I'm just trying to make it a little organized for you so we can keep everything all in one place. Um, we have the order book, we have the underlying, um, we have the broker. So I'm just, I'm just showing you everything that they got, the ticker, 
we already got the summary ticker short sell trend coupons that's on the other side flow trend so you can see what's going on with apple like that summary we already got order book underlying um and all of that okay so that's going to be the biggest value from this is the actual trade tab and then you guys can buy and sell actively on here very easy not overwhelming or anything like that super super convenient so now as we continue to move down if that's say you created your own strategy or your own uh trading platform that works good great if you don't you always can cl click and add one that they already have okay so you guys can see that there is a group trading one up here so if you wanted to put in you know any any company AAPL boom you can do that um, and then you can make your trades that way so now all we have is the news left we have messages moo moo but the absolute biggest value I don't use these too much but the biggest value is the paper this is where you guys can actually buy and sell with a paper trading account it's fantastic they're actually in the works of doing it right now I've used it couple times on the mobile platform but it's awesome highly recommend it so so I find that people that want to stay away from one larger brokers like TD Ameritrade Charles Schwab all of those but still want an active trading platform that is 100% customizable should go to Moomoo they make it very easy to actually buy and sell stocks on the downside the only thing that I would say is it could be a little overwhelming for some beginners that are starting to trade but it's awesome that you have this scanner, all of that stuff all in one place so you don't have to go back and forth with other uh, software. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button. My throat's killing me. We will see you guys later. Take care.